When a young man and his family come on our campus, they see the, what we're building and they see that we're serious about winning a championship. And in order to win a championship, you got to spend money. Yeah. Just call it like <laughs> it is. You, you, and that's what we're doing. That's what Coach Tanner's committed to doing, President Pastides, and our entire board. And, and so it's exciting to be the head football coach of something like that. Efficiency and effectiveness. We have. We have a couple of bells and whistles in there, but this is a building that you know is right next to the indoor, the practice fields. Thank, thank, uh, can't thank Ken and Cindy long enough for their dedication to this building. But over 100,000 square feet with tremendous weight room and coaches. It's uh, you know when you visit as a prospective student athlete, you you want to make sure no matter the sport you eliminate negativity. Well, this shows tremendous commitment that when you have a building like this in place. assistant coaches offices they're all very similar in setup so we just kind of got a, a typical office shown here they will all have views out to the practice fields there's a balcony um, that's out in front of these offices that is not accessible from each office but there's a this will be a doorway from this end and then there's a doorway excuse me at the other end I'm swing my hand um, so they, that will be an open balcony where they can go out and stand there for the field. Um, team meeting room, and then next door we'll look at the offensive team meeting room. The color schemes are kind of set up like the black helmet and the white helmet, and then you'll have the striping that will kind of come up the back of the wall and then come over the top of the ceiling where you see this piece up here. So that's how the graphics are sort of set up. We'll have tiered seating in here and then display screens down here on the front wall. Meeting room again with the same kind of setup with the helmet striping that will be coming across the ceiling here, tiered seating. And again, it's set up more with a white background with the stripes versus the black background with the stripes is in the deep And your seat counts for both these rooms are on your fact sheet that you got. I think it's 72 or 177. looking from this corner back to this corner again with the racks on a diagonal with the TVs and then this will be a huge uh, a huge graphic that's all along this wall back up to the back here. Okay. Okay. taping tables, training tables. This column is this column right here. Um, and again they'll have some rehab area and all of it to the field over on that side. This is your hydro area. Hydro will be closed in glass. We have the large pool tub on the far side, a smaller hot tub, and then the swim exit, which is your underwater treadmill. All three be in here. The room is all here with the laundry area behind it, and then that goes back to a loading dock area. So um, the equipment staff loads in these big three openings are these lockers so every player has a locker for the equipment that they need that day so they load it in from the back side the player comes into the room and so goes in from the front side gets his gear changes clothes and then he's either going to the NFL display um, is actually intended to be interactive so 
good. The way this will work, you'll have a helmet from every team. You'll have a mirrored screen that will be on the wall here. And so if you go up and put your hand on the top of the helmet for the Dallas Cowboys, on this screen on the wall will show any Gamecocks that have been affiliated with the Dallas Cowboys and information kind of associated with that. which will be up in the front corner. We will have some touch screens over here which are kind of more fan oriented.